Hey, what's happening gamers? A lot's changed since the last episode. We are actually uh, back with Subspace Emissary, and I think we're supposed to continue with Lucas and the Pokemon Trainer, so the ruins. Um, or maybe the facility, I, I really don't know, but... Yes, somewhere in this game. <laughs> yep. At least we have the right game, I think. <laughs> yeah. No, we, it's like we left off, left off of this like last week, and so it's like, eh, where were we? Actually, we haven't played this game in two weeks. Yeah. Let's re-record ahead of time. Yeah. You've been so, busy with your, been your popular Super Mario Bros. 3 Let's oh, Play. Oh, it's okay. No, it's pretty popular. It's actually, well, it actually gets more views than uh, Gaming with the K-Wings at this point. Oh, well, I don't know. This That's is, okay. Well, it's because it's on the weekends, though. If we had Gaming with the K-Wings on the weekends, I bet we'd get... Abuse. Maybe. I'm falling. But um, but not, but yeah, things. Funny. But if it wasn't on your channel, it wouldn't get very. It, you know, it would get like two views. Well, <laughs> if we were on Nintendo Buzz, we'd probably get more views for our Let's Play. But that's okay. What's Nintendo Buzz? A uh, friend of mine's channel. That's collaboration cool. of all kinds of different uh, Nintendo Let's Players. Oh, cool. Remember, you can always hit the uh, plus button. Oh, yeah. Star! I mean, plus! Plus. Oh, I forgot the controls! <laughs> oh, I just had the controls kind of down before. Yeah, I, I said it's been a while. That's right. Extra guy. Wow, I actually jumped uh, I'm glad I get to be Squirtle, he's so cute. Yeah, Squirtle is pretty. And Lucas is pretty cute too. Uh, hey, that's the <laughs> That's the name when when people okay. call you that. <laughs> it's like stop. New favorite name, honey. It's not my name. <laughs> On my birth certificate it says Luke. You can say Lucas. Sometimes people call him uh, Lucas, and then he's like, uh, it's Luke. <laughs> yeah, I hate With that. his little grumpy New Yorker face. Continue. Oh, I've had a lot of grumpy New Yorker faces lately. Yeah. Lack of sleep and also all this crap on S978 every single day. Yep. Even, even people who aren't my fans, like, asking me about the bill, it's like, just... Leave me alone about the bill. Stop giving it more attention than it needs to. And people that think that this is the GOP's doing, it's not. I mean, I don't want to bring up politics, but this is a Democrat bill just like cap and trade was. So the more attention you give to it, the worse it's going to be for everybody else. And Alrighty. If, you know? Hey, um, I have something to say um, about my play, um, my playthroughs. Um, K-Wing just wanted me to say something, and I should have said them on my LP. I'll probably say them on my LP, too, but... Um, the reason they're on K-Wing's channel is just so people can see them and that they'll get some views. Because, um... I don't know. My channel, uh... Yeah. <laughs> You've got over 600 subscribers. But, yeah, I do. I have 600 subscribers, so thank you very much for subscribing. And, um... I may put some non like game related stuff on there, like I may put vlogs or something on there at some point. But it's it's one step at a time. Um, I'm always going to school and working, uh, so it's kind of like I kind of get stuff done when I have time. So I don't know. I do the best I can. So get stuck under there because you get squashed. I'll get squashed by spikes. That would hurt. Actually, no, you get flattened. I think actually K-Wing has even less time than me because he, um, K-Wing spends all day. He's got to edit and everything else, which takes a long time. And I just have to say thank you, honey, for helping me with my LP because you help me edit it sometimes and put the ending on the back and stuff, so. You're welcome. And, uh, the sh especially the fans, if you guys definitely want to make K-Wife an intro, um, feel free to. Uh-oh. Drat. Ah. I don't know where I am. Oh, I'm dead. Wait, how do I... There. Oh, what do you do? Push up? Push up. 
I tried, but I guess I wasn't on the door. Watch out for the, uh... I like this little water move. That's pretty cool. People are uh, telling us, too, that we have to remember to use the badges. It's like, eh. What? Is... I, was, I was never really good at using uh... the badges for this game anyway. What? I don't understand. <laughs> there are badges. Stickers. Oh. That help increase uh, stats. And oh, like, like at that. the beginning, like you put the sticker on. Before yeah, you before go into we level. go into the level. Oh no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's alright. I took that. But yeah, um, hopefully everyone had a good uh, July Fourth. I think I think this is gonna air the the week right after July Fourth. It's gonna air tonight. Yes. Today is July seventh, uh, sixth or seventh. Oh no, it's well, yesterday was the 5th, because 4th was Monday. That's why everyone had Monday off of work. Today's Wednesday. Uh, yep. So it's the 6th, I'm yeah. pretty sure. Oh no, oh no, why am I frozen? Oh. Ah. Oh my. That's painful. Oh, nuts. I'm sorry, I'm... I'm, I'm dead. Whoa! I can't believe I was still alive. <sighs> Nuts. Yay, yes, we will continue. I'm terrible at Lucas. It's not one of my characters. That's alright. So, yeah. Yeah, Kiwing and I are, are both... We both had a lot of work and stuff. Week, so, it's like, uh... Plus, it's really hot out today, too. Yeah, it is wicked hot out today, and it's just, like, draining all of our energy. Ugh, so, that's my excuse. Mm. I also have to come up with a different excuse for being, like, not very good. <laughs> also, um, I appreciate all your guys' support on the whole Operation Rainfall front. You guys have done a great job so far. We have over 4,000 signatures on the petition to localize the three Yay. games. And because of all the noise we made, uh, Nintendo of Europe decided that they're actually going to release uh, Pandora's Tower in 2012 in Europe. So that's another Yay. game that, you know, Nintendo of America should consider um, bringing over here. I'm not going off the platform this time. Okay. Try to that's stay. awesome. Our fans are the best. Yeah, our fans are really great. And we hope you guys really enjoyed the episode with uh, Peanut Butter Gamer, like on Monday. I have to say that was a lot of fun to put together. Well, that was pretty cool. I hung on to the platform. That was awesome. You guys sounded great. I liked his impression of you. That was his idea. That was that was um that was unscripted. I'd like to see more of more of you guys. That'd be cool. Well, I think next time what we're gonna do is like an N64 game because he has a um he's seven or eight years younger than I am, so oh, okay. he would be big with, um... He likes the N64. Well, it would have been more... He would know... Uh, be more familiar with it, because that was, like, one of his oh, primary yeah. systems. And I have yet to do a Mario Party game, and I know he really likes Mario Party. That's right, because we kind of grew up with, uh... Like, uh... Super Nintendo was kind of like our system, isn't it? Um, kind of. my first system was the NES. Well, yeah, mine too, but... My favorite system growing up is still the Super Nintendo. Mine too! There like, was my just, favorite games are on that. There was just way too many games that came out for the Super Nintendo. In fact, there has been no console since the Super Nintendo that's had the amount of great titles, like AAA titles, that were released on a system. That's a great... Isn't um, Link to the Past on Super Nintendo? Link to the Past, Super Castlevania, I... Chrono Trigger... I Final Fantasy when, um, uh, 4, 6. When my brothers first saw that, I remember when we first saw that game, we were at a camp and my brothers saw that game and they were like, they're like, what system is this on? It's like Super Nintendo. They're like, no, this cannot be on the Super Nintendo. And it was. Earthbound, it's, uh, Super Mario it's RPG. Really, it, it has like awesome graphics for being on the. What game are you thinking of? Super, uh, Link to the Past. Well, it was an amazing Link, Super Nintendo game. Link to the Past only used eight color palettes. I don't know, something about it, it like, it didn't... just was amazing. Though. It, like, considering what the Super Nintendo could do, it's like a very, Whoa. um... I have like a thing that I can... I have like a rope 
save me. Yeah, no, it it it, it could do a lot of cool things. You have, you have a different Pokemon now, if you want. Yeah, I. Ivy Sword. I believe figure it's that. Called. Yep. I have a like a vine. Cause I, I was falling off the edge and I just pushed a random button and the vine saved me. But yeah, so just hanging out. LP. But yeah, it was a good system. Sometimes I think I want like if I had my own little TV somewhere, I could just hook up a Super Nintendo to it and play some games. Oh, well, our Super Nintendo's in storage, but we don't really. I want to say we don't really need it, but I'm still waiting for the likes of like Turtles in Time and you know some of the games I grew up with on the yeah. system that's not on there. But I have to say that the Virtual Console is pretty awesome, and the 60 Super Nintendo titles that are on the Virtual Console are actually pretty good. Yeah. See, I I like the Super Nintendo, and then when they came out with Nintendo 64. Um, I don't know, just because I like simpler games, like, even the Niten Super Nintendo is not necessarily simple games. No. It's just, like, I just, like, I couldn't deal with, like, you know, like, Mario 64 trying to, trying to jump on things in 3D. It's like, I just, I would jump, but I would jump to the side of it, because I just wasn't used to moving around in 3D. Well, I, so. I have a confession, actually. When, um, y you need that. Okay. When, when the 64 came out... I don't know what... Press the A button. Oh, okay. When the 64 came out, I was still heavily into my Super Nintendo because I was still playing games like Chrono Trigger and Marvel Super Heroes War of the Gems, um, Dreamland 3, uh, N64, yeah. it was, I mean, the graphics, yeah, it was amazing. Um, the best uh, 3D on any system at that time, but it was kind of too complex for me and it took a while to adjust to games like Star Fox and GoldenEye and Super Mario 64. It was still very difficult for me to play until like around the GameCube era is yeah. when I started to finally adjust to 3D graphics. Well, but I'm still a 2D gamer at heart. I love 2D games. Yeah. Like I like that this right here is kind of, I mean it is 3D but it's kind of 2, it's it, platform. It's called, it's called 2.5D is what oh. the term was. But they didn't actually call it 2.5D until um, Super Mario, new Super Mario Brothers on the DS. Yeah. That's when it, it got that official term. And That's cool. when gaming kind of returned to that 2.5D rudimentary uh, feeling is when I really started to enjoy modern, modern gaming again. I guess, yeah. or current gaming. Because games like Batman, Arkham Asylum, and stuff like that, they, they still give me... I get kind of a headache from them because of the camera angles. Oh, yeah, exactly. Switches, switches around. No, it doesn't necessarily switch around, I just don't... It, it, it literally yeah. hurts my eyes, just like some 3DS games I still have problems adjusting to. I think we need to hit all the switches. Oh, I see. In, like, so we have relatively to hit them fast. fast time. Yep. Right, I'm in. Honey. Yeah, really. But um, I know people are also wondering too, like what happened to some of our retro playthroughs. Uh, we're pro I'm. I definitely want to bring back Wild Guns and stuff like that. But Amber and I were getting. Actually, I was being kind of a jerk to Amber in that oh, game. I don't know. No, oh, especially when we got to the final boss. Um, I don't remember. I didn't. I didn't air that episode because. It was... Oh, yes, because sometimes we get really into our games, and then we're like, <laughs> you're like, you're supposed to shoot it! It's like, especially games that it's like, if you don't, like, you know, if you don't do it right, if you're gonna die, and you're gonna, like, you know, it's just, yeah. It, in games that it's, like, really important to do well, or you have to do the entire thing over again, it's like, uh, yeah, sometimes, sometimes our frustrations come out, so... Yeah. Yeah, I was. You guys want to see us happy, not. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't. I wasn't very. So kind maybe we'll game. do it again after I've had some practice. Well, that's you got to remember too. Wild Guns is like one of the hardest games ever made. I mean, it's it's. Well, that makes me feel a little better. It's uh, pure pure timing and like knowing where everything is and knowing when to get out of the way and when to shoot the bullets to get the Vulcan gun because it is next to impossible 
to beat the final boss without the Vulcan gun, but there are so many yeah. enemies in the last level. You made it to the last level. It's just, it's it's a beast. Yeah. So I, I got the idea of, I know you're going to be doing one of the Sonic games for your Let's Play series now. Yes. I would really like to do um, Legend of the Mystical Ninja with you because we had a lot of fun playing that when I reviewed that back in 2008. Yeah. And it's a great, like, beat-em-up slash adventure game. Yeah, I seem to be okay at beat-em-ups. Like Ninja Turtles and stuff. Beat-em-ups is still one of my favorite genres, and it was kind of a sleeper genre the last ten years, but it's been making kind of a slow comeback with games like uh, Batman Brave and the Bold and Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, stuff like that. Yeah. But, yeah, what you gotta remember, babe, and everyone, too, is, like, I never used to play games this much. I'm playing them so much more than I used to. Like, since I've been, you know, doing LPs and stuff. Like, with you, first we did gaming with the K-Wings, and then it was kind of like, yeah. So, anyway, yeah. Well, gamers, we've come to the end of our rope, so to speak. Uh, I believe this is episode eight, eight or nine. I kind of lost track. But, in uh, any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch. Remember, you can support uh, both Amber, myself, and Chris Holen on iTunes by buying our album. It is Yay. 990 and uh, I know for our Europe friends it's 1650 and I apologize for that. I don't really know if there's any way to lower the price in Europe, but um, I appreciate the European gamers who have been buying that and telling me how awesome the album is and that it's definitely worth uh, 1650 um, Just so you guys Thank and gals you. know, we are actually working on our second album. Uh, Chris Holen, Amber, and myself are hard at work on the Chrono Trigger covers. Uh, we are currently in post-production of the theme. And it's coming, I, I just handed in my drum part, and Amber and I are going to start writing lyrics for Far Away Times. Yep. And uh, then probably this fall we'll begin Golden Axe, which yeah, is a game excited. I really want to want to do. And uh, also special thanks to the Game Station for actually supporting our album and posting it on uh, iTunes for 12 months. Yeah, thank you, Game Station. So, all you new gamers, uh, thank you so much for taking the time to watch today. Um, this show airs twice a week, and then Amber is the, quote, weekend warrior, as the fans are calling her, and her Let's Play of Super Mario Bros. 3 is going to be Saturday and Sunday from now on, and I'm going to do my best to try to get a Retro Mondays up every week. Uh, if a Retro Mondays doesn't get up, um, then Amber or I will do something else, like, so there, there will always be something on this channel. Yeah, we're so, gonna try to get daily contents. We, we wish you all a great Wednesday night, and, uh, we hope you've enjoyed this episode. God bless and happy gaming, until we meet again, gamers. Bye-bye! See ya!